students at a Burien Martial Arts Studio are being recognized for their skills. All three are state champions in their respective age divisions. From Counterforce Taekwondo, please welcome eight-year-old Justin Spizak, nine-year-old Angelina Marek, and ten-year-old Jason Owen, along with their instructor, Master Chris Hemore. Now take it away, guys. All right, you guys. Okay. You guys ready to kick, yes, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Pitch on the chariot. Kunye, ready? Go to Gijui, five set. Ready, round kick off the line, ready, go. So nice, ready, go. Oh, ready, go. Oh, one more time, go. Oh, ready, go. Oh, ready, go. Now, ready, jumping double kick, ready, back leg, front leg, go. Oh, ready, go. Oh, ready, go. Hey, ready, go. Nice, ready, go. Oh, switch it up. 360 round kick, ready, go. Damn, good, go. On, ready, go. On, ready, go. So, ready, fish, hold the chair in. And from the Good job, you that guys. That was amazing. Good work, good work, good work. Good work You're making work, like work. some serious popping noises. When did you get started with Taekwondo? Um, I started when I was four years old. When you were four, and so what level are you now? I'm a Bodan. What does that mean? She's testing for her first degree black belt soon. That's months, yeah. pretty amazing. What about you guys? When did you start? Uh, I started when I was three. When you were three, how old are you now? Ten. Ten, yes. And what about you? I started when I was four. So kids can start this yes, yeah, when they're can. teeny tiny. Yep, yep. We, we encourage them to start out at uh, four years old at our school and, uh, here in Burien. And basically when um, the first few classes, it's just basically just getting used to the routine and everything. Right. And we instill the values and have all the same same curriculum and everything, but we just had a little bit of a slower pace. And then they work their way up the ranks. Now let's talk time, about so. values because I noticed yes, you were, you, that's one thing I yes. noticed. And everybody's thank you yeah. and yes ma'am and course. that kind of stuff. Why is that part of, of the art of Taekwondo? The art of Taekwondo because we, we basically build our, I build my curriculum around the five tenets, courtesy, integrity, self-control, perseverance, and dominant spirit. And out of all those things we incorporate it, in, it, it applies to every part that you do in Taekwondo. And I always tell my kids, you know, um, there's so much more to Taekwondo than just kicking and punching. Mm -hmm. It's about being a good person and following those five tenets because at the end of Taekwondo, Do means a way of life. So we basically train them to do all the kicks and punches, but apply it in every kind of way that they can to help them build the best way of life that they can. Body, mind, soul, yes, the whole thing. Yes, what do you enjoy most about this? I enjoy coming every day to Taekwondo and helping out little students. You help the younger ones? Mm -hmm. What do you like best? Uh, making new friends. That's a good answer. What about you? The competition. The competition. Yeah. We see we've run the gamut. And we got all, yeah. Would you have thought in a million years you'd have three state champions? Uh, you know what? Honestly, in the seven years that I've been running my school, I have not. <laughs> That's pretty I mean, incredible. Yeah, what makes pretty. these three so special? Their work ethic. They, they, at the leading uh, towards the national tournament that we went to in Salt Lake City, Utah, uh, this past Fourth of July weekend, um, they were putting in like that last month, two a days, three times a week. They were, wow. they were running on the track in the morning, and they were getting their theory, uh, ring control, and their Taekwondo IQ sparring um, at the end of the night. And the fact that they have, it's not just them three. We have a team of about 17 students for our mm -hmm. competition team. And uh, without them and the support of parents that I have on my on my staff, it would it would be it would be tough. So it's a group yeah. effort. So. so does this help you in school? Do you think just the, kind of the general way that you think and approach things? Because mm -hmm. you work pretty hard, right? All of you. Yes, yeah. Can adults do this? Oh yeah, absolutely. I, at, at my school, I have <laughs> classes for all ages, um, all skill levels, everything. I, I try to cater to everybody mm -hmm. and. Um, You'll probably find out today when we try doing your demo. All right, shall we? Um, shall we break some boards? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Let's perfect. Good, good, good job. Okay, okay. now here's what we're gonna do first. Who wants to go first? Me. Ready? Okay, one step back. Who wants to go I know you're gonna go last. Me. Okay, ready. So, this is called a jumping axe kick. It's a head kick. He's gonna throw it with his front what? leg. Yep, jumping oh forward. Axe kick. Loud kia. Face your holder always. Try it. Kine, ready? Go to Gujibi. Five set. Okay, loud key up, straight down the middle, loud key up, ready, go! Ah! Oh, Boom, nice good. job, face your chair yet? Yeah, good. Nice Board done. break number two, we have jump back kick. This is the hardest kick that you have in your arsenal because you're throwing your hips, shoulders, everything into that one kick. Hands up, fight set! Hey! Ready, ready, see, jump, go! Hey! Nice job, nice try it. Done. Yeah, next person Woo! up, we have Angelina. And she's gonna do a little special kick. We're gonna do a jumping, running, jumping front kick. Okay, so ready? One big step back, one big step back. Running, good. Jumping front kick. Ready? Go to get your meat, five set. Ready, jump front kick, head level, ready? See, jump! Hi! Hey. Oh, oh, ready, face over the I'm sorry, does that hurt? No, ma'am. You okay? No, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> no! 
it doesn't hurt. There's nothing there. So, um, how how do, is this part of what they do when they when they're learning to compete? Is this part of it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, their their competition is just one one aspect of it. Like I was mentioning before, um, the competition um, is one part of Taekwondo. Uh, we we do everything, but the competition aspect of it is called Olympic style Taekwondo, and that um, is what you see in the Olympics every four years. Right. And but that's one part of it. The part that we're doing right now is more of the traditional side. You still do the same kicks when you're sparring, but um, again, a curriculum is based off of not just one aspect of the martial art. We do the board breaking, uh, the kicking targets, and the pumses, and we do all kinds of other stuff. But just for um, for the sake of today and trying to get as much in as we can, we're trying to do. You are obviously practice. a really good teacher. Hey, Congratulations to all it. three of you for being champions. You guys say Appreciate Mark, you ready being to here. There what do you we guys go. Say? Thank Thank you. You. You're very Thank welcome. You. Wow, I'm inspired. I'm going to go home and practice. Let's I got a board I, for you if you want to practice. Okay, just leave it back there where okay. nobody can all see right, it. Okay. Um, simple changes that can make a big impact at home. Back after this. <laughs> you guys did so.